Here's the early 1970s Allen organ. And I've been having a problem with this with the volume changing intermittently. I get through the church service and get to the last hymn and the volume would start really decreasing like the expression pedal is being closed. So what I decided to do was to remove the expression pedal from the circuit. Now I I don't I don't play anything that uses the expression pedal. I just change the stops to change the volume. So I'm not going to I'm not going to miss it. Of course I would have, eventually I do want to try to replace it to get it back to to its proper operating condition. But for what I usually do, I think it'll be okay to just disconnect it. And let's see if I can get get the light aimed over here a little bit better. The way that it works is there's a lamp in here, and then there are photo cells in this chamber here. There's one photo cell for the principal and flute channel, and a one photo cell for the, or not the principal and flute, the principal and reed channel, and another photo cell for the flute and bass channel. And the way it works is this little shutter goes down into this gap here and blocks the light path to the photo cells. When light is reaching the photocells, they have low resistance. They come down to these junction blocks here, here, and here. And what they do is they shunt across the audio output to the amps. And they shunt these capacitors across the output. So it acts kind of like a tone control. And it has the effect of acting more like a pipe organ. And this, this capacitor was across the other channel. It works more like a pipe organ when the shutters are closed to the uh, organ chamber. That's how a pipe organ reduces volume. And those shutters also provide high frequency attenuation. So with the capacitors being in the circuit, they tend to cut the high frequencies more than the lows when they're, when they're shunted across. But I could tell that it sounded like the photocells were just kind of going crazy, like they were uh, lowering in resistance on their own without light input. And I go to play the, the last hymn of the service and the organ will be really weak. So I just removed the capacitors from the circuit. But one important thing to note is that these ground connections here, here's the ground part of the circuit. The ground connections of the photocell circuit must remain hooked up. For some reason, if you, if you lift those ground connections, you end up getting ground loop hum in the audio system. So I don't know why that is, but ground connections have to remain on there. But what I did was to, uh, was to just remove the capacitors from the circuit so that those photocells couldn't have any influence on the audio signal anymore. And these are the audio output lines to the amps here. So I'm gonna, I tried this out a little bit earlier. It seemed to work pretty good. But then we'll just check it out at the service tomorrow and, and see how, how it performs. Hopefully that'll solve the problem. Or at least get rid of the problem for now until I can find out how to, or until I can find some appropriate photocells. I tried measuring the resistance of those photocells and they were re extremely high in resistance, like 900 mega ohms when dark. So I don't know if there's what the deal is with that. That doesn't seem right. So I did see some postings online about Allen Organ photo cell values, but I'm not really sure if those are I'll have to look at those again and just see if I can get some photo cells that might work in it.